All right, y'all. So once I had it exported, I'm going to um, import it to Adobe Audition or whatever program you use to edit audio um, that you have personally that, that can support VSTs. Um, and we're going to use our Isotope Ozone 4 to get our loudness from it. Obviously, we mix real low for that reason. Uh, we went ahead and normalized it to negative 3 dB. And then uh, we're going to use our Isotope Ozone 4. And Isotope Ozone 4 just comes with some really great settings um, that you can just use. Obviously, you're not trying to get like the greatest mix ever because... Like I said, if it goes anywhere important, they're going to remix it anyway. Um, they're going to get a real engineer to mix it. So your mix is pretty much pointless. You know what I'm saying? Unless your mix is going to make it sound 30 times better than what it is. Um, there's no real reason to spend hours and hours on your mixing. And if your mixing is making your beat sound that much better, then there's probably some issues with your creative process if the mix is really where you're getting your great sound from. Uh, but anyway, it has some great settings that will do f just fine for mixtapes, um, local artists, to even submit to major artists. As long as you have a nice clean mix, you're fine. Um, and they have perfectly fine presets in here that are made for made by people much smarter than me much smarter than you guys um one that i really like is the hip-hop master brighter and bassier so i'll go ahead and select that uh and one thing i will always make sure to do is i come into my loudness maximizer and i want to pull this down to point negative point three uh turn this on and just hit this to get the m bit plus and then um the character i usually try to move it to about three maybe so around there so I get that fast and loud and then we'll just kind of play with the threshold and um, see where we want it to be Hit OK, let it um, go to work, and then I'll pretty much have, um, I'll be done with it basically as far as um, the main version that I'm going to submit to artists, submit to labels, and uh, sell, lease, whatever I want to do with it, it'll be done. Uh, so this is kind of what your final product looks like right here. And um, I'm happy with this, like it sounds good, a lot of you even think it sounds good, you guys notice the difference between just doing some of the mon uh, some of the drums mono and not doing that super heavy filtering that we kind of did before. Um, and it just sounds good, good enough to submit, you really don't have to do much past this point, actually not much past, you don't have to do anything past this point, it sounds good enough to submit, it's quality work, your beat sounds good, your mix is fine, uh, like I said, if it goes anything important, you do not have to worry about the mix at all, they're gonna mix it for you anyway, so, uh, let's jump to the next section, and there's just a couple things, uh, you guys had questions about that I just wanna cover real quick. 